welcome, welcome. I uh, thank you guys for all your likes, all of your subscribes, all of your awesome comments. You guys are absolutely great. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to jump into this tarot read. Okay, so I got letters first, so we'll start with those guys. And um, we'll see what comes out when we go with these letters. Is this sort of like uh, your spirit guide's way of being able to step forward and bring some extra validation that what's coming through in the cards might be specifically meant for you. Uh, you're going to know if these have meaning to you. We have G, X, and G. They're odd letters to start with. And P, X, G, P. So these might be initials for a name. These might be for a place. We also have N and K. Hmm. Let's see what else comes forward. I feel like we need to do a few more. I have T. This one went sideways. R. We're going to do a couple more before we get going with the numbers here. These are the last ones. So we got S, V, B and D. So that's a whole lot of letters there. You're going to know if some of that has meaning to you, some sort of abbreviation. We also have the month of July. We have the number 10, the month of August, 4, 23. Ooh, I'm going to move all these guys up just a smidge here. So I got some space for another line because I feel like I need to do a whole other line of these. Uh, 26. So Tarot, can you give me some more numbers that are going to help to bring validation? we got the month of May as well. Let's see what else we have going on. Can you bring forward a few more, please? I feel like we had some here that wanted to pop out. <sighs> Let's see. So we got 18. February. we got lots of months in this one. December. Holy cow. January. 16. And 21, I'm going to put some of these guys up right over here. Just scooch everyone over. Wow. All right, we're going to move on to these guys. So we'll see what comes forward in the cards. You're going to know if any of these have meaning to you. Signs. Your path. Whoa, you are being given signs. There's something going on in your life. I, I feel like you're most likely asking for guidance on something. It's being answered in signs. Pay attention to... Things that come to you, possibly seemingly out of the blue, or it seems like it when you move in some way, it's just easier than somewhere else. Sometimes that's what the signs are. Sometimes it's not um, some big dramatic thing. Sometimes it's not a psychic impression or it's not a dream. Sometimes it's just the way that circumstance goes and things that are not working out, like door slamming in your face kind of thing and all these obstacles. It's like that's your spirit guide and the universe's way of telling you that that's not the path that you should go on. Uh, once you start moving in a different direction, you might think, find that things actually come to you a bit easier. Those are signs as well. When you've got karma. You know, I feel like you've put in a lot of hard work. Uh, I'm being told the word trust. So I feel like you actually have trust in the universe. You have faith in the universe. Like everything happens for a reason. I will be guided to where I'm supposed to go. I also feel like this deep faith and trust in the universe and the powers that be in and of itself earns you good karma. And it sort of allows these signs to come through a bit easier because you make yourself more open and sensitive to it. I'm going to grab some more here. Whoa, these guys wanted to pop out. These are the first ones. Acceptance. Acceptance. And intuition. See, you're like everything happens for a reason. Even when it's really frustrating, uh, even when it feels like it's not going the way that you hope that it would go, it's like having this trust that, okay, it's, it's for my benefit in some way, shape, or form. I might not be able to see it at this moment in time, but I need to trust that that's what's going on and that at a later date, I'm going to be able to look back and it's going to make a lot more sense to me. Individuality, interesting, and companionship. I'm being told the words be yourself. Uh, true. I got told the word true. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. And this might be in friendships, in relationships, like romantic, but it might be in just any relationship too. And sort of the people that you interact with. And just being able to sort of be who you are. Not afraid to be who you are, to let your true self shine through. Courage. I do think it takes courage to be like that. Because, I mean, let's face it, we're all, we're all individuals. It's sort of inevitable that we rub somebody the wrong way and someone gets irritated by us. You know, it's, 
Uh, it's just kind of the way it goes because we're all so different. Not all of us are going to get along. And so it does take courage to be able to just be like, you know what, I just, this is who I am. This is the person that I am. I'm not going to put on some, some false social mask so that, you know, everybody likes me or things to seem to go easier. It's like, I'm just going to be who I am. And if people like me, that's great. And if they don't, well, that's fine too. Then they're not somebody I need to have around in my life. Letting go. Interesting. Letting go. And then loss came right after letting go as well. You know what? You gave up too much of yourself. That's what happened here. You gave up too much of yourself in some sort of a relationship. This might have been romantic. It might have been with friends. It might have been with families. This might have been at work as well. You gave up way too much of your individuality in whatever this was. And it did wind up with some heartbreak. It did wind up with some loss. And I don't know if it was you who walked away or if paths parted for a different reason. But it was a blessing in disguise. Because whatever this was, you weren't being true to yourself and it was actually taking too much from you. You were giving too much of yourself. You were compromising too much of yourself. It was never going to get you the happiness that you deserve because you weren't being true to who you are and making sure that your needs were being met as well. We also have expansiveness. You know, even in that expansiveness, I see this connection, this deep connection to the universe and everything happening for a reason. It's like this was to teach you that moving forward in the future to be true to yourself. And, you know, if this is romance and if this is looking for love and you're worried that, you know, people are going to think there's something about you that's a little too quirky or a little too weird or whatever the fuck. And nobody's going to want to want to sort of uh, start that romantic relationship that you got to kind of be more agreeable or more. Uh, mainstream or go with a flow or what everyone expects that won't breed a solid relationship because the other party isn't getting to know who you are right you have to be you right from the get-go and and stay that way because that ensures that whoever comes forward and loves you is loving you and not some false image of you they're getting to know all the ins and outs about who you are and if they love you they're gonna love you for you and i see that in the cards and i see that this is part of the lesson that you are accepting and you are learning within yourself limitless interesting i'm grounded yeah i think you're finding your self-confidence i think you're finding your self-love i think you're finding who you are and being true to yourself outrageous openness non-duality yeah, I think you're just being true to you. I think you're discovering even in this situation who that is as well. That's more about uh, what your wants are, what your needs are, what you're willing to compromise are on and what you're not. What you absolutely have to have to be happy. And that's important to find out too. And I do feel like there's a part of you that's like when somebody new comes along or you encounter a new situation... It's like not being afraid to be open and honest about what your expectations are. And if somebody else isn't willing to step up to that and they're sort of like, ooh, and they bugger off, well, then if they were someone who couldn't meet those needs anyways. And they were somebody who weren't meant to be in your life. But if there's somebody who sees that and goes, hey, you know what? That's exactly what I'm looking for too. Then you're going to know it's somebody who's a true connection to you, right? We're going to grab a few more of these before we get going with the tarot cards too. So, Tarot, can you give me a few more of these guys, please? Woo! No, they gave me a few more of these ones. Let's see. Grief. Grief and faith. Yeah. See, healing from a loss. I do feel like this is more than... You know what? This is more than a romantic loss. So, I feel like you might have lost somebody close to you. And it might not even be recent... This might have been somebody who in the past you would have gone to when you were going through a rough time and they would always give you that emotional support. And it's just like they, they were no longer around when this happened. So it sort of brought that grief forward, even though maybe this had happened, you know, a while before. It's just like recognizing that you couldn't call them, you couldn't go visit them, you couldn't have sort of that face-to-face -face conversation anymore. And it was... I don't want to say it was a journey you had to take yourself because I know that they're still around us. You know, once somebody has crossed over to the other side of the veil, I know they still hang around us and protect us. But not having that kind of face to face was maybe tough and sort of brought that about as well. Uh, let's see what we got. Surrender. Yeah, 
This is like just acceptance. This is like acceptance all over again. Everything happens for a reason. When somebody who's meant to come into your life comes into your life, it'll just, it'll be like divine timing. Just accepting that there's no need to try and force it. There's no need to worry about it. As long as you are being true to you on your path, that piece of things will come when the time is right. We also have worth. You are learning your worth. In all of this, this has been part of your journey, is, is recognizing your own value. True offering an inner child. Interesting. I do believe that that inner child is speaking to this healing. This healing, this coming home to yourself, this not giving too much of yourself and sort of, like I said, recognizing and taking your power back. Recognizing your worth and your self-esteem. True offering. True offering intrigues me though. Uh, I want to know what's going on with the true offering card. So tarot, okay, spirit guides, which deck? Which deck are we going to clarify this one? This is the one I'm getting pulled to, so this is the one we're going to use. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about that true offering. Because I do feel like it's tied into karma. I do feel like it's tied into you doing your part in this journey. And sort of putting yourself in a place where something can come forward. See, nine of wands. Even in this nine of wands, I see like standing your ground. I see you recognizing your worth. I see you not accepting less. And it's like being true to you and not allowing anyone to come in and take advantage of that. The king of pentacles. That's funny. Sometimes I look at this figure and I see somebody who's uh, maybe greedy or hyper focused on, on money or material wealth. I do not see that in this time. You know what I actually see in his face? It's almost like, I swear to God, guys, it's like the freaking expression in the art has changed. I see nurturing. I see somebody who is looking to build stability, looking for long-term commitment, and looking to build a home and a life with somebody. Who is he? Is he, does he represent you and sort of where you're at? Or is he this true offering that's coming forward? I'm going to pull a few more cards to see where he sits in. The Ace of Cups does represent new beginnings. And it can represent a new love coming into your life or a new relationship of some sort. We also have the King of Swords that came out next to it. Uh, this King of Swords. I see loyalty and honesty with this King of Swords. I see loyalty. You know what? That is it. That is it. It took a second for it to come through with my spirit. Guys, the King of Pentacles is your energy. You are someone. And, and it doesn't mean that you're a man. This is like this masculine energy. So it's someone who's looking to take action towards something. You are actively working towards this goal of having somebody to build with, having that stability, having that long-term commitment. And I see this King of Swords coming forward in your future. This is what this true offering is. There's no bullshit in this King of Swords. This King of Swords is, like I see that, Truth and honesty. Uh, I'm trying to get a picture. I'm asking. I'm asking my guys. What is this person gonna look like? What is this person gonna be like? Because I know if I was you, I'd be asking them like, how do I know when this person shows up? So I'm trying to get a beat on that. I'm trying to reach into that card and see more about this person uh, to sort of give you a little bit more of that. We're gonna pull some tarot cards. Sometimes as I get going, things get a little bit more clear. We do have the star card. This person might actually be an Aquarius. I'm going to tell you that too. Swords can represent an air sign, which Aquarius is, and the star card can represent an Aquarius. That might be who this person is coming forward. Karma. See, there's karma again. We got karma twice in this read. I feel like it is because you've done all of this. It is because uh, you've taken this journey, and not only did you go through something rough, but instead of sort of sitting in it and feeling sorry for yourself or feeling sad or feeling that grief, you were like, what can I learn from this? How can I evolve and be a better person? How can I take this and learn something from it that will help me move towards my goal and have a better life? Because you were sort of like ascended enough to be able to do that. That is you earning this good karma. That is you putting yourself in a place where you can receive a true offering. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about building. It's about legacy. Legacy, building a home. And uh, we got it. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. I think you have a new beginning coming your way. I really do. Justice, interesting. I feel like things coming into balance. I, I don't want to say a wrong being righted, but I feel like 
you know, you've, you've had some friggin' duds that you've dealt with and you've done your part to learn from all of that. And it's like, now it pays off with a good partner stepping forward. It's like finding that balance. So not necessarily a wrong being righted, but I do, I'm being told the word fairness. It's like you've put up with so much crap. You've done all the work to heal, to learn your lessons. It's like the universe feels like it's fairness and it's balance to bring somebody good your way. You're now in a place where you can accept that in your life and make the most of it. We also have the five of wands. Interesting, right? Next to the ten of cups. So the five of wands can represent conflict. Conflict. <sighs> I think you've put up with a lot of drama. I do believe that's what the five of wands is represented. You've put up with a lot of drama from different relationships. And it's like you finally learn, you know, you've learned all those lessons. You've learned not to put up with drama anymore, not to put up with somebody else's crap. You know, that worth, you've got that self-worth now. And you're not going to allow anybody in who won't appreciate you for you, right? Because we have this individuality now. It's like, now I'm just going to be me. Here I am. Uh, this is what I want. This is what I expect. You know, if that's not what you're looking for and you can't fulfill that, you don't like that, see you later. See you later. I'm going to keep carrying on with my life. I'm going to keep building my life. You can go keep doing whatever the fuck you're doing over that way because I'm not getting drug into any kind of that crap again or false promises or giving too much of myself or compromising too much of myself. This is my path that I'm on and somebody is allowed to join me if they're going to contribute to that. Otherwise, don't bother kind of thing. And, and I do feel like that is what's setting the stage for your Ten of Cups. It's what's allowing this King of Swords to come forward for you. It's interesting. And we have the Seven of Cups. The Four of Swords. And that Seven of Cups, I do see options. I see, you know, looking for that Ten of Cups, trying to build that Ten of Cups, wishing for that Ten of Cups, that, that happy home life that, we'll just call it happily ever after, even though we know that's not, you know, really a thing, but you can have happiness. It's just you know, life, life happens. So nothing's ever perfect, but things can still be pretty damn good. And I know that you're hoping for this 10 of cups and it's like feeling sad, maybe that you don't have it, but choosing not to sit in that. That's what this line of cards says. You chose not to sit in that five of cups. You chose not to dwell on shit that happened in the past. You chose to heal and move forward and stay open to offerings like that page of cups. I see positivity in that page of cups that you chose to stay open to those offers. You chose to heal and not block that out. The queen of swords and the two of swords. The two of swords can represent indecision. But with that queen of swords, she tells me it's like being true to yourself. Being true to yourself. So not allowing anybody to come in and sort of take over. Not allowing anybody to come in and compromise that always sticking to your guns and being honest about what your expectations are and what you are willing to give in a relationship kind of thing and holding to that holding to your lines holding to your boundaries the sun card says there's blessings coming your way absolutely there's blessings coming your way and the chariot card is positive forward movement the death card just tells me change it tells me a chapter is coming to an end and a new one is starting and i do feel like it does involve this king of swords this is going to be part of your new chapter. This is a someone stepping forward. Uh, like I said, then I get pulled back to the star card. <laughs> and I'm being told the word Aquarius. It's like this person might be an Aquarius. Four of Wands, that is the marriage card. That is absolutely the marriage card. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands. I do see recognition in these cards. Very much so. Recognizing recognizing that you don't have to worry about when this is going to happen. You don't have to feel like this eight of swords. Is this person going to come forward? When are they going to come forward? It's just like this trust that this four of wands is going to happen for you. This 10 of cups is going to happen for you when the time is right. This, this king of swords, he's already put in your path. He is already going to cross your path in some way, shape or form. I can see, uh, I, I thought, okay, well, let's look at your timeline. Is he fixed on your timeline? And I can see a point on your timeline when he's fixed. So you are going to cross this person's path at some point. That has already been faded. 
That has already been written. The Queen of Pentacles, interesting. Now we got a king and a queen. And I do see loyalty in that card. I see stability. I see nurturing. I see somebody who's willing uh, to do an even give and take as somebody who's willing to grow a life with someone else. And I feel in this Queen of Pentacles too, uh, this, it's the acceptance again. It's staying open. Staying open to allow something to come forward. To allow the right thing to come forward in your life. And that's what all these cards are telling me. Is this something that you're willing to do? That in the meantime, while you took that time to be single, you sort of did that work on yourself. You did whatever shadow work had to get done. You found out whatever you needed to find out for yourself. To put yourself in a position where when love showed up, you were ready for it and it was going to be the right one. It was going to be uh, somebody who's steady, somebody who's looking to contribute and build. They might be, you know, it might be something that grows over a long period of time. Maybe that four of wands, that, that wedding card doesn't come into play for a little while longer after you meet the person, but it's because you're slowly building, building that foundation with them. And that's what I see in the cards because that Knight of Pentacles, that is a slow and steady offer, but a genuine one, very much a genuine one. And we got... We got the emperor sitting next to him. So whoever this person is, this person is somebody who wants to build a legacy. This person who is somebody who wants stability. They want to build a life. You are attracting them. You are bringing them in, whether you realize it or not. The changes that you made in life set off some sort of vibes in the universe that was like a magnet that drew this right person to you. It was just a matter of time before they showed up. And that's what's going on. They're already fated on, to be on your life path, to cross your path. The Page of Swords and the Lovers. You know what? You might have already met them or they might have already met you and you might not even realize it. They might be scoping you out already. Checking to see if you're romantically involved with somebody or interested in being romantically involved with somebody. I see that in this Page of Swords. You know what? You have already met this person, I think. Yeah, and I think that they are scoping you out to see if you're single, to see if you're available, to see if you would be interested before they step forward and they make that offering. They might even be sort of getting to know you as like an acquaintance or they, you might be, they might be like a friend of a friend and they're asking about you and inquiring because this is somebody, this King of Swords is somebody who wants what you want. They want to build. They want stability. They don't want to get jerked around just like you. So I do feel like they're taking extra steps to make sure that you're somebody who wants the same thing. And obviously that's what they're going to find because that is what you're after. The seven of pentacles, you both want that abundant harvest. So I do feel like they are seeking out information to make sure that you're on the same page as they are because they don't want to be left out in the cold any more than you do. But the Knight of Wands tells me that they will come forward with an offering. This person will come forward and communicate to you. I think that's when you're going to recognize who they are. Because right now I have this feeling like you, it's like you don't know they exist, but they know you exist. So they're somehow in your circle. You've somehow come across them. You've somehow met them. Sorry, mosquitoes. Uh, let's see what we got. I want to grab a couple more cards here. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups and Three of Cups. It's like a new journey forward. A new journey forward. You know what? This, this person, whoever this King of uh, Swords is, this person did get jerked around in the past. This is why they're being very cautious. They might have even gotten cheated on. But they got burned really bad. And that is why they will come forward like this Knight of Pentacles and wanting to build slowly. That's slow and steady. Uh, because they want to make sure that, that you are who you say you are. And obviously you are. So what could possibly go wrong, right? It's just going to take a little bit of time for them to be able to be like, okay, yeah. This person is what I'm looking for. This person is honest. This person is true. Now I'm good with investing, you know. And this person is, I think they're a good match. I think they're a good one. Like I said, they want stability too. They want stability too. The Magician, interesting. The Magician and the King of Cups. I'm going to tell you what I see in these cards. And it is talking about this person's past. It is bringing some things forward. I do feel like this person definitely got jerked around in their past. I feel like they are afraid of creating the same situation and investing emotionally. And... 
I do feel like that's why they're going to come forward and sort of take time and why they're scoping you out, really. The bumblebee stuck over there. Jeez Louise. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. So they do have a few burdens that they're working through. Obviously, like, none of us is perfect, right? In the beginning, they may hold back a little bit. Or this might be their holding back as they slowly try to figure out who you are. But I do see you moving on and moving forward with them. I do see them finally releasing their crap from the past. Finally releasing those fears that they gained from being burned in the past and being ready to step forward and recognizing that you're not like the people that they dealt with before and making that true offering and looking to build that two of cups. I feel like that's really important to allow them that time to be able to do that, to get the most out of this relationship. Alrighty guys, we're gonna pull a few more cards here. Let's see what we got, five of swords, six of pentacles, eight of pentacles. It just keeps telling me about who they are. You know what, that's why it's doing it because you might already know this or someone might tell you something and this is gonna ring a bell. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's who Desiree was talking about in that read. It's somebody who got burned really bad by their ex, extremely bad by their ex, and they're a little afraid of getting involved with somebody again, even though there's somebody who's looking to build. Ace of Swords says truth and honesty is going to be extremely important with this person. I also feel like there's somebody who's going to come forward and be really honest because they want to know your intentions too. And they also, they, it's like, they don't want to get their time wasted. They're like exactly like you that way. You don't want to get your time wasted. They don't want to get their time wasted. I think it's going to be pretty easy to determine what each other's intentions are. The wheel of the year. I feel like your wheel of fortune is turning. Their wheel of fortune is turning. The page of pentacles is an offering. An offering is coming forward. I don't know when. I can't tell you when. I feel like it's a matter of this person taking time to sort of Quietly investigate who you are and then feel comfortable in stepping forward. And when they do that, that is when the time is right for the two of you to come together. All right, yeah, we are, I think we're going to grab, we're going to grab a numerology card. We'll just sort of do a little energy card for this read at the end here. So tarot, whoop, and we had a couple pop out. Oh, that's interesting. Music, self-discipline, healing, and time out. This time out that you took to heal and to sort of find yourself was extremely important. It's the thing that puts you in the right space to be able to allow this person to come forward into your life. Uh, music, music. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be something about how you guys connect. I don't know if you guys like the same music, uh, if it's something you're gonna have in common, if it's something that connects you, if you go somewhere to listen to music and this is when this is all gonna come forward or it's gonna have to do with maybe a first date or something. This music card is going to come into play when the two of you meet. So that's when we're gonna find out what the true meaning of this music card is. And you're the one who's gonna know that when everything sort of comes together and that comes into play, you're gonna be like, oh, that's where it fits in. Because that's what my spirit guides are telling me that this, this card is gonna tie into the way the two of you bond and the two of you meet. Alrighty, I hope that you enjoyed that read. Uh, feel free to hit that like, that subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. Have a great day, everyone.